right now, the risk to his life was very low, but the risk to the quality of his life was high. During the operation, it became obvious that this was some form of vascular malformation that's probably derived from the dermis. Typically, it means that the blood vessels are bigger than they're supposed to be for the location where they are in the body. So looking at this lesion as we were removing it, we could tell that it looked like a vascular malformation of some type. And we removed it in its entirety, except for a small margin at the skin, because it would have required him to lose so much skin that it would have been difficult to close properly. And then we sent it to pathology for evaluation. When the pathology laboratory received the sample from the patient, it was uh, on gross examination, quite vascular. We submitted it entirely for microscopic analysis. And when we look at it under the microscope, uh, we diagnosed what's called a hemangioma. Now, in this case, performing this operation will provide the benefit that the child will leave with a definitive diagnosis. And in this particular case, our pathologists have had a chance to review the specimen and have determined that it is a vascular malformation that will recede with time and he will need nothing more than normal follow-ups to this pediatrician on a regular basis.